Hello everyone, Sigmalator here. Welcome back to Silent Hill 3. Right. Memos. Stanley's diary. I think it was in this one he mentioned something about... Uh... Uh, okay, it wasn't that one. This one, maybe? He talks about... It's one of these ones where he talks about numbers. If the door's locked, open it. Use the password for the prison gates. Doctor, I've forgotten his name. Anyway, that quack has it posted. He, sh he should be here too. I mean, four numbers would have been good enough, but he kept on going. Isn't it the same? Is it a shame I'm not there? Aren't you irritated? Has it posted? Not that one. First is larger than the second. The second is twice the third. Third smaller than the fourth. Fourth is half the first. Four of the numbers are not repeated. Three. Four, three, two, one. No, that can't be it, surely. This might take me a while to work out. Is there any other clues anywhere? No. Okay. Right, okay. C4 is where that place was. Can't it? Oh, there was another door there. I. Or was that blocked? That might have been blocked, but let's go double check. No, okay. Clues or anything in here doesn't look like it. And I don't have anything I can currently use on that, do I? Dad's notebook. I hope I hope this will never come to any use. Maybe it's better if you never know. More than anything else, I feared the possibility of you going, of your going far from me. But sometimes we have to tell the truth. That's why I'm writing this before I'm lost in death and oblivion. What happened back then, that, uh, that has something to do with who you are. It all started 24 years ago. Coming back from a vacation, my wife and I found a baby on the side of the highway. Since we were childless, we thanked God for letting us meet this child, this girl. We took her home. Three years later, my wife died, and another four years later, 17 years ago, I came to Silent Hill. I heard the girl's pleas and took her with me. 
not knowing why she wanted us to go there. And it was there that the girl went away. Not that she actually went anywhere, nor did she die. Returned to her original self. That's what Dahlia Gillespie said. Original self. That was the young woman burned by her mother as a sacrifice to God, Alessa Gillespie. Half her soul escaped in those flames and, I, and went on to live in a baby, in that girl of mine of ours. Seven years passed before that half a girl returned to Silent Hill and made Alessa whole again. Newly strengthened, she vowed to kill God. God, a fetus nestled into this sacrificial girl's womb, was summoned with the usual rites. This was Alessa's wish, no matter what the outcome, even if her own existence were at, sta were, were at stake. But that wish was not granted. My interruption meant she prayed instead for the girl's return. I alone couldn't bring her back. Dahlia did it. I early helped at the birthing ceremony to bring God out of Alessa. The newly born God wailed once and was dead. All from that girl's and probably Alessa's conscious resistance. That's not the end. After God had vanished in a glow of light, Alessa reappeared and gave me a baby. She looked a lot like that girl so long ago. And then Alessa was gone. Dead. There was nothing I could have done to help. I simply clutched the baby to my chest and ran off. The whole thing felt like a dream, but I had proof that it wasn't. The girl was nowhere to be found, and in my arms, the baby. Now 17 years have passed, it feels like only yesterday, and again it feels like a million years ago. I confess I had reservations at first about raising that baby. Could I love her? Her existence was thoroughly unexplainable. I thought she could be that young woman who snatched away my beloved daughter. That led to sadness, anger... There were times when I put my hands around her tiny little throat. Several times I even considered abandoning her. That's what a terrible person I am. But I decided to raise her after all. I just couldn't seem to let her go. When she, when, when you look at me, you laugh. So even now I can't forget about that girl, but I love you. I have no doubts about that. That's all I ask you to believe. To my precious daughter, Harry Mason. Now he's talking about Cheryl, obviously. All right, nothing there. Nail polish remover. Really? Stairwell key. I forgot I'd pick that up. Right, and there's a locked door back there. Get more clues to uh, the code now. More nurses. No, thank you. Right, let's go downstairs. Some machine gun bullets. It's a wheelchair. Where's the person that was using it? Well, going by all the ketchup on the floor, they dropped their hot dog. from the wall but I can't squeeze into there and there's no way I can move the shelf either okay then uh, shakes of blood as if something got dragged I continue on the back wall there's an, it's more like they start from the back of the shelf okay I have to come back here Oh, I see the machine gun. Or a scar of bullet marks. 
Blood Choker 2 is into the elevator. Part of me wants to peek him, but then it's a little creepy too. Okay. Another storeroom. And that's docked as well. All right. Second floor. Oh yeah, we've been to the second floor. Third floor we haven't done. Right, you're the one with the with the uh, thing. Nope. Not interested in loud noises. Another one of those. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. The first is larger than the se first, second, and third, and fourth floors. Is that what it's talking about? I wonder. That might be it, maybe. No. Never can quite tell with these games. I've got another safe point. Nothing but cleaning supplies. Another note from our friend Stanley. Heather, my most sacred love, I'm always watching you, no matter where you are or what you may be doing. I have never lost sight of you. I know you feel intensely lonely, yet with a single key to this door, those feelings won't stand in the way any longer. We haven't been able to see each other for so long. Be patient, it's just a little longer. I'll be patient too, even though I long to hold you in these hands of mine. The key is behind the shelves in the underground garage. Why there? Ask that idiot doctor. There's not a single person here who's right in the head, not just in the hospital, I mean in all of Silent Hill, except me. Oh, of course, you are the only sane person here, Stanley. Okay. Okay, so now you work. So floor, okay, that puts my theory out. There is no fourth floor. But there might be a fourth floor. You never know, Silent Hill might decide to randomly add a f secret fourth floor. I'm pretty sure that's happened before. And there's a memo on the wall. Punishment for brutality towards patient. 12 hours confinement in the special treatment room. Dismissal policy no longer in effect. Contact the chief if you have any questions. There's something handwritten on the top of the thing. The trick is not to leave any marks. One other thing. This looks like it was written by a different person. 
The chief is a pervert. Christy would have been better off if she had been fired. Yikes. Lock is broken. Can't open it. Unlocked. Can't open it. Oh, hey, Stanley. Blowing freely your ebony hair like the night sky, scattering fragrance. My heart clamoring in my chest like a storm, you trifle with it. Your pristine glance like a feast when you smile. My thoughts disturbed, my breath like opium, it drives me mad. Eric, a great poet who conveys my feelings so well. Sure. I shouldn't have let this place get to me. Should never have gone crazy, but it's superbly enjoyable to drown in my love for you. But why won't you accept proof of my love? Don't stand on ceremony now. After all, you and I exist as one. What I give to you is the same as what I give to me. Alright. Whatever you say, dude. No, you must be Christy. Sorry about this. Okay. Nothing else in here. No. All right. Okay. Still can't get in there. No, no, here we go. Look, fourth floor. Oh, no, it's the roof. Hey, Stanley, what do you want now? I also like the rooftop. It makes me want to fly. You too? Ah. So that's what happened to Stanley. Of that from you, thank you. I haven't seen those creatures for a while. So, machine gun bullets. All right, then. This one screen doesn't look like this. It doesn't look like it's about to break and fall. All right. All right. Get your breath back, Heather. There's nothing else up here then.
All right. Oh, Stanley's little diary's gone. Wait, maybe, did he leave a diary out here, maybe? I'm trying to see if there's anything on the floor or anywhere. Doesn't look like it. Heather's not looking at anything. All right. All right, so I've got no additional clues to unlocking those doors, unless the clue is in that th in that uh, riddle. And I'm just too thick to figure it out. No, I wanted to keep looking at the map, so... What's that done? Second floor. Anything I've missed there? Doesn't look like it. Hang on. Thank you. Stanley mentioned something about the doctor in in the storeroom downstairs, so maybe now I can do something with that uh with that shelf. Key find here, he said. Do I have anything to help that can help me move it? Perfume, the stuff smells a little strange. Stun gun battery. I don't have a stun gun. Okay. Can't look through there. Guess there must be in the elevator. Yep. Yeah. No, okay. Well, I'm at a loss. Right, back on the first floor. Why are you back? I don't see what else I can do here.
Uh, shit, I might have to look this up. I don't really want to because I prefer to figure things out if I can. No, not long. I just couldn't get into that room. Fair enough. Nothing really on the roof, and I still can't get through that door. I don't know. I am at a loss here, guys, but I'm going to have to end this episode here. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma Later. This has been Silent Hill 3, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now.